Now, the Prime Minister says that his relationship with former President Trump hasn't been jeopardised by the Republican candidate's team accusing the Labour Party of foreign interference in the election. Keir Starmer said he established good relationships with Mr Trump despite an official complaint made against Labour Party activists who were in the US volunteering for Kamala Harris. Our political editor, Beth Ruby, has been travelling with the Prime Minister and sent us this update from Hawaii. We're nearly in Samoa. The Prime Minister's now been travelling for about 20 hours, but the trip has been overshadowed by the row uh, that is emerging over Labour Party staffers volunteering uh, for the Harris campaign back in the US. That election now, but a couple of weeks out. Uh, the Trump team have made a complaint that the UK Labour Party has interfered in the US election, complaining about uh, volunteers uh, going over and also naming some of uh, Keir Starmer's key lieutenants who attended the Democratic National Convention. Now, on the substance of it, Labour are very clear that they've done nothing wrong. Keir Starmer on the plane said to us very clearly, these are volunteers doing it in their own time, on their own money. Meanwhile, uh, as for his own staff, as it's convention for the Labour Party to send uh, delegates over or people over to observe uh, the convention, no one has been advising. That's the stress from number 10, the Kamala Harris campaign. On the politics of it, though, this is awkward. A Prime Minister that wants to remain neutral, that has said consistently he is neutral. He said when we asked him whether it would damage his relationship with Donald Trump on the plane, he said not at all. We have a good relationship. We've established a good relationship. You might remember he had a dinner in Trump Tower last month in New York. Uh, the potential next U.S. president flying in um, from Florida to see the U.K. Prime Minister. So number 10, I think we're trying to play it down. I think there's a view back home that this is a domestic story uh, that Donald Trump wants to paint Kamala Harris as very left-wing and it hate, helps him to make this attack on her regarding uh, the Labour Party which is seen obviously in the US as a left-wing party as well. So they're trying to downplay it but goodness me this is the biggest UK alley. Uh, the polls are neck and neck. Trump could well be the next president and now the Prime Minister has this headache. Nigel Farage weighing in saying that he had made a major political mistake. I don't think the Labour Party, I don't think the government see it like that but it's fair to say this is pretty awkward. Have you with us? Because Beth said that at the end, awkward, but you know, this has been happening for quite some time that uh, Labour figures have gone over to help Democrats, uh, Conservatives go over to help Republicans. Why should people care? Well, I think this is an extremely interesting issue that most Americans don't ever th consider or think about. As somebody who's run grassroots campaigns at the local level, I've never once considered about recruiting volunteers from another country. So I'm not even, you know, necessarily aware that people in America know that you actually can volunteer in other countries. Uh, to help with uh, with elections. However, when you end up spending over a thousand dollars of your own money in order to help campaign for that you know particular in a particular election, that particular candidate, that's when it becomes a problem according to you know federal election law here in the United States. And so you have this open solicitation on LinkedIn from one of the members of the Labor Party, which is how this all started, where they were soliciting people to come over to the United States and help campaign for the Kamala Harris campaign. And in that solicitation, they said that, you know, don't worry about housing. We have that figured out for you. Mm. Well, if you just do some simple math, flying over the United States, housing for several weeks, food, uh, that seems to be over $1,000 in spending in order to help a particular candidate. So I think this is an extremely valid concern by the Trump campaign, something that needs to be looked into. And just because they've apparently been doing this forever doesn't mean that it's right. No, and as you know, uh, the... The Labour Party here say that these guys are volunteers, they're paying for out their own money. There's no suggestion at this stage that this has come from sort of Labour um, funds, which is doesn't really help the accusation. This is somehow election interference, does it? Well, again, I mean, somebody's paying for it. And I heard the Prime Minister say that these are people who are volunteering in their free time, right? Yeah. You know, I don't I know anybody else. Yeah, I don't know anybody uh, in my circle of friends or sphere of influ influence who volunteers their time to go to another country to help a political candidate from that country in their spare time. I mean, nobody has that much spare time. 
So you know, maybe, maybe these guys is, do, though, Matt. Yeah. You know? Maybe these guys do. Yeah, may, maybe they do. I mean, maybe they just have an unlimited amount of money and, and they can, you know, spare two weeks of their time. They can take off from work. They can just come here and, and have a good time campaigning for Kamala Harris. But, you know, I think it's a little more sinister than that, probably. I think I think the claims are, are valid and I think they should look into it. Sinister. I mean, Nigel Farage is there constantly supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, and I, you know what he does. That's that's up to him. And if somebody wants to complain about what he's doing, then that's a totally separate issue. But I think he's doing that on his own. I I don't know that he's being paid to do that. I think the problem comes down to when you have a hundred random people from the Labour Party who aligns with the Democratic Party here in the United States mm. coming over here to campaign. Uh, I think we need to know who these people are. We need to know exactly how they're paying for everything. It needs to be itemized. And if that's over $1,000 in in money, then that's against the law. It is against the law. They could be fined. You'll know the Australian Labour Party were fined back in uh, 2017 for helping out Bernie Sanders in, in that campaign. Now, um, you'll know that there are other uh, news stories surrounding Donald Trump today, not least... His uh, former chief of staff, John Kelly, saying that he believed Donald Trump met the definition of fascist. Is, is Kelly wrong? Well, I think General Kelly is just another former you know, Trump staffer who's a little bit bitter about his time in the administration. I mean, look, all these people who ended up leaving the Trump administration ended up going on and writing books and making millions of dollars off their, mm. their storytelling of, of the days in Donald Trump's uh, orbit working in his administration where things were... Uh, according to them, always full of drama and different things like that. So, you know, I don't know that you can take uh, General Kelly's word for anything that he says. He's To me, he's just a bitter former employee. And if it was true? I mean, I don't, how can you tell? I mean, you can't prove that anything's no, true. I mean, if it's, it was it's, true, then General Kelly says it's true. He also said that Trump was a governor like a dictator. Does that bother you in the slightest? Well, I think as President of the United States, it's it's extremely difficult to actually govern as a dictator with all the checks and balances that we have. I mean, the president of the United States is, is not a king. He's part of the executive branch, which is one of the three branches here in the United States. And it's, it's somewhat difficult to actually uh, govern as a dictator. So I, I disagree with that, with that statement. All right. Well, Matt, uh, Matt Tito, uh, we'll find out, I guess, about these volunteers at some point. Good to speak with you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you so much.